Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Xbox Series S uh, console. This model doesn't come with any DVD drive, anything like that. So this is non-DVD drive Xbox One S model. And in this uh, video, I'm gonna go over how quickly you can open it up and replace the power unit, power supply unit. If your power supply unit is failing or you just wanna replace it because you gotta discharge or just feel somebody told you to replace them. This video is for you. I'm gonna take it on really easy steps how you can open it up and how you can replace it. By replacing the power unit, you're not gonna change anything on the system or any configuration, anything like that. It's totally safe. All right. Tool number one, we're gonna we're gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one, it's a screwdriver set. I recommend you to have an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are gonna be using right now a torque number ten, I believe, but I'll verify that in a second. First thing first, unplug and we're gonna remove two plastic covers at the back here. These are the warranty label covers. So put your razor blade right under these covers. I don't have a blade in here with me. So I do actually have one right here. So just lift these ones up, put them to one side so that so you can expose the screws right underneath, right there. Now we're gonna remove these two screws. Uh, this wasn't it, so this is too big. So we're gonna go down on torque number nine. Torque screw, torque screw with a secure lock. I mean, there's a tiny pin in the middle. Let me see. No, this one, they don't actually have a secure lock. So it's a torque number nine. Remove these two screws. Once you remove the screws, the cover should slide backward and lift it up, and that's how you can remove the bottom cover. Once you remove the bottom cover, now we cannot remove the rest unless we remove the green screw. So we're gonna be same screwdriver, we're gonna remove the green screw right in here. So I start on one side and remove all the green screws. These are really long screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now what we need to do, open up these back legs right in here, and we are gonna pull up like that. We're gonna lift it up, bring it this way, so we can spook down backward the console. In here, we're gonna remove the top shield, just lift it up, put it to one side, and right away we can see the power unit, PSU power unit right in here, and the fan system, so there's no space for DVD drive. So we can see the power unit goes in here, so there's a two long screws and stuff like that, so in this portion. So we are gonna remove all the screws from the mid to this side, we're gonna remove all the screws, we can see. It. So remove these screws, they're really tough screws. Once we remove the screws, we're gonna flip it back this way. Now we're just gonna lift up the power unit straight upward, bring it up, wiggle it around, and bring it up. So we can see thermal pad in here, these are in thermal gel. You can lift it up again and just push it over this uh, extended uh, memory card right in here. Right, and then the model for this one, there's a two pins, a 12 volt, 12 volt, 13.7 amp. The model is a 1921. I'll try to get the link for this one. I will leave in the video description. So let's say you got the new one in. All you need to do is to grab this thermal pad, put it here, grab it, make a big, nice ball, and put it right in here, squeeze it down, grab the new uh, power unit, make sure the connector is facing this one right in here. You wanna bring it down, it's straight down and push it down right there. And then once for all, you wanna just put this cover right on top, squeeze it down. Okay. Once it's nicely squeezed all the way in, you can start by putting this one in right now. So we can put the screws at the end. So you wanna bring it up like this, put it down, bring it down in this position, stick all the way 
she goes all the way in there. You want to open up the sides, nicely open it up and drop it in there. Hold the top, open it up and close it. Open it up and close it. Now put it back down, face down. Put that short screws that you removed and the green screws that you removed right on top. And the last thing will be to just slide down the bottom cover right over. And this is how you can remove and replace your power unit for your Xbox Series S console. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. I'm just going to finish up putting up these screws and the bottom cover. Don't forget the green screws. Once you finish with the green screw, just grab the cover, put it in an offset position like that, and just bring it back. Put the two screws on the bottom cover. And you can finish it off. Right, and that's how you can replace it. I'm just gonna finish up putting the screw and the cover.